everybody and welcome back to my channel today's one of those days i just feel like getting things done i feel like my house is messy i want to clean declutter organize but before we do any of that i need to brush his hair his hair looks crazy i noticed this morning that we need new bath towels so we are gonna run to target after i get his hair brushed who's on your shirt who's on your shirt who is that mickey mouse mickey mouse did we just go to disney did we go to Disney? Yep. And what did we see in Disney? Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. This might be my most chaotic intro ever, but we are gonna run out, go to Target, get the bath towels, and then I have a bunch of like cleaning, decluttering, Mommy, organizing projects that I, I wanna get done around the house. Do your backflip. <laughs> Whoa! Also, today's video is sponsored by Eureka. So thank you so much to Eureka for sponsoring today's video. You guys already know all about the rapid wash, but we're gonna share the rapid wash again here today. And I'm excited for that, but let's just head to the store and then come back and try to get things done. So we just got back from Target. I ended up grabbing these Casa Luna bath towels i really liked this color and this color i used to really care about having all my towels be like matching colors so they look nice when they get put away i truly don't care about that anymore i just like the colors that i like so i picked these two this one and then this brown color of i don't know what it is i've just been kind of into like browns lately so this one is a bath sheet and this one is a bath towel so this one's like much bigger and this one is for my husband and this one is for me and then the only other things we got at target is this bright room bin right here i think i'm going to use this to store some of carson's like little video games that he keeps in his room right now to try and keep those a little bit more contained and organized because right now they're like all over the place and then this one i'm going to use for some of sutton's toys that he's been using like little plastic bins for and i just think this would look a little bit better when i clean up at the end of the day we also grabbed some kinetic sand while we were there, which he's already playing with and has already mixed with the other color of kinetic sand that we have. But I think that the first thing I want to do right now is reset this room. As you can see, it's a complete disaster. And I know it's going to look like this again by the end of the day, but I feel like he plays better when the room is reset. So I'm just going to take care of that first. I will say that this mess looks a lot worse than it actually is. I feel like this doesn't take me very long to clean at all. I typically tidy up usually around midday and then once again before bed. And yes, I do have my kids get involved in the cleaning process, but when I'm filming, I typically just do it myself. I also wanted to add here that if my audio sounds off, that's because it is my microphone broke, but I should have my new one next week. So everything should resume back to normal, but I know that the audio sounds a little bit weird. It sounds muffled. I'm just using my laptop's like built-in microphone and it's not very good. Do I want this too much? I know I have burned you once before. Once I got all the toys off the floor, I could really see how filthy they were. It's been just super rainy here in Massachusetts. So my kids have been dragging in all kinds of dirt and mud from outside. So today we're of course going to be using my Eureka Rapid Wash to clean up the mess. I've been using this machine for months and months now and it is hands down my favorite wet dry vacuum I've ever tried. It vacuums and mops my hard floors at the same time effortlessly. I pull it out all day long. Sometimes it feels like hourly with two little kids and three cats running around our house. I'm going to share a few of the features that make this machine such a game changer. Like I said, we have three cats here in our house, so you bet there's fur balls and dust bunnies floating around on our floors. The rapid wash can pick up those big clumps of fur and it doesn't even tangle the brush roller thanks to the anti-entanglement design. You can see here there is a scraper and a flush comb and they work together to prevent hair from getting wrapped around the roller brush. So I flipped this thing over so I could show you that there was nothing stuck inside. Another great feature is the zero edge design on the right side and front of the rapid wash. This makes it so easy to get right up to the baseboards or along your cabinets and get every little crumb there won't be anything left behind. 
The rapid wash also has really good size water tanks, so I'm spending less time emptying and refilling the tanks and I'm able to clean my entire main floor of my house in one go. And of course, my personal favorite part is the self-cleaning. A lot of wet dry vacuums have a self-cleaning feature, but I've found with other models that they tend to stink after a while. This self-clean truly cleans the machine. It flushes the inner tubing and the brush roller, and then it also air dries the roller. Again, I've been using the rapid wash for months and months and I've had absolutely no trouble with odors and that for me completely sets the rapid wash apart from others. The price point is already great on this product, but you can actually score it right now for only $229.99 from October 8th through 9th. That's a $50 savings off the usual price. So if you've had your eyes on this product, now is the time to pick it up. Don't wait and pay more later. I will have the link down below in my description box for you to shop and I want to extend a huge thank you to Eureka for sponsoring today's video. Once I finished getting all the dirt off the floors, I wanted to transfer some of Sutton's toys into that new bin that we bought from Target. I think this just looks so much better. This has been an area that has been really bothering me lately on our couch. You can see it's pretty stained right there and I can take the cushions off and I can wash them in the washing machine, but obviously I can't take this part off. So I'm gonna try and get this stain out. Okay, so the way that I went about cleaning this was first I kind of pre-treated the stains by grabbing a microfiber cloth and then I used like the suds from Dawn dish soap and I just scrubbed that on there and just did my best again to pre-treat the stains. And then I grabbed my, I think, is this a Hoover? It might be a Hoover clean slate. That sounds right to me, but I've had this for quite some time and I've really not pulled it out very often. So I was actually kind of excited to grab it and use it today. And this has a solution that came with it. Also, how do you like the toddler just trying to grab the machine and crane it with his little crane truck? It's, it's really something trying to get things done with him around. But yes, this ended up working really, really well. I'm gonna show you guys later on how it looked after it was all dried. There was one other spot I wanted to clean while I had this machine out, but like, look how satisfying this is. So I'm really glad that I pulled this out today and got this done. It is really hard to say how this is gonna look once it's dried, but I feel like it's gonna look better. Um, but this is the dirty water from the couch. How disgusting is that? That's crazy. Obviously I was only spot cleaning, so there's only a little bit of water in here, but like the fact that my couch that we've been sitting on has water this color coming out of it is sickening. Now that we're done with that project, I need to get this island cleared off. It's driving me insane because it's just full of clutter. If there is one thing I cannot stand, it is clutter sitting around on my countertops. I have always been this way and I feel like I go through seasons where I care a little bit less, but I'm definitely in my I want the counters to be clear season of life. So I really wanted to get everything put away that was sitting on the island. When I went over to my fridge to put away the seltzer waters, I noticed that there was a lot of stuff in the fridge that had gone bad and like expired and whatever. So I wanted to quickly go through the fridge and get those things out of there and just kind of declutter it so that I can actually see what we have. I feel like the last couple of times I've gone grocery shopping, I've had kind of a hard time shopping because I didn't know what was already in the fridge. And that's why I try to stay on top of doing this. But we went on vacation a couple weeks ago and I just have really not caught up on everything since then. So this was something that I really needed to catch up on. I don't know how long that lettuce was in there, but that was so gross. So definitely wanted to get rid of all of this stuff. Also, I think those two meals, I think they'd been in the fridge for like three weeks at that point. So those needed to go too. And as usual, my recycling was completely full, so I had to take that out before I could get to wiping down the island.
After I did all that, I decided to empty the dishwasher so I could just get the few dishes that were in my sink rinsed out and put into my dishwasher. This was a pretty big load of dishes, so I was kind of dreading doing this. I typically try to run smaller loads in my dishwasher so that it's a less daunting task for me to empty it later. I am like mid cleaning the kitchen and Sutton said he wants to play on the deck. So I need to clean this up. This is dirt that we scooped into a kiddie pool the other day and then it got rained on and turned into mud. But the dirt was so that he could play with his construction trucks. So it was all fun and games until it rained. So I'm gonna clean this out and then get back to the kitchen. I think I was interrupted probably every two minutes at a minimum on this day when I was trying to film. It's definitely hard to get things done when you have a toddler at home. So if you're a toddler mom and you feel my pain, I would love for you to comment down below. Let me know, what do you do to entertain your toddler when you're trying to get things done? I feel like lately he's definitely been following me around asking me to play a lot more than usual. So I could use all the ideas to keep him entertained on days that I have to work. It is so dark in my room, I know, so please just bear with me. There's like no natural lighting in here, but this is my next project today. You may or may not know that we are in the process of potentially having an addition put on the house, which fingers crossed that ends up happening. Um, we did get our quote back. It is, it's expensive, not gonna lie. So we're trying to figure out if that can work for us and like what the next steps are and everything else. But if we do end up doing the addition, then we'll finally have a master closet, which would be just like honestly life-changing for us. I do want to declutter a little bit of my clothes, but I've talked about this recently. Like I'm so sick of getting rid of my things because I live in New England and we do have all four seasons. And honestly, sometimes we can have like all four seasons in the same week. So I feel like I need to have a lot of different clothing for a lot of different weather situations like on hand at all times. So as much as I love like the idea of a capsule wardrobe and having less things and all that, it just would not work for me in the climate that I live in. So anyway, hopefully within the next year, we can get that addition done and we'll have a master closet and we'll have more storage space. Right now I utilize all the space we have to like the best of its ability, but I still just feel like we don't have enough. We each have one dresser and then we have a tiny, tiny little closet that we have to share between the two of us, my husband and I, which is tricky. And now that the summer is coming to an end and we're having cooler weather, we do still get random warm days here and there. So I do want to swap out a lot of my clothes for like the cooler weather clothing, but I do need to keep some of my summery stuff out. Again, we just get like all four seasons in one week sometimes. So you just never know what you're gonna get here in New England. But I do know that I have a lot of tops in my dresser that I very, very rarely reach for, if ever. So I do think there's some things I can get rid of from in there. And then the majority of the things that I wear on a regular basis are in my closet hanging up. I've kind of figured out over the years that I just despise folding. So if I can hang something, I would so much rather do that. And we just don't have a ton of space for hanging, unfortunately. So anyway, I'm going to sort through my clothes. I think I'm gonna go dump it onto the kitchen island. It's so much easier for me to fold out there and to sort things. The counter height is like perfect for that type of thing. And I don't end up with a horrible backache when I do it that way. Okay, so the first step in this declutter project was to get all of my laundry folded. And like I said, 
we're kind of in that time of year where it can be warm out one day and then it can be cold out the next day and you just don't know. Also, it can be cold in the morning and then it can be warm midday so you end up wearing multiple outfits. It's just a really hard time of year. So I have way more laundry than usual. Plus I was backed up from our vacation. But this is the stuff that I do wear clearly because this was stuff that I had just washed. So I'm not going to be decluttering anything from this pile. For this, I'm just folding everything and I'm gonna bring it into my room. And then once I go in there, before I actually put these things away, I'm going to go ahead and declutter each one of my drawers. Typically when I'm decluttering and I'm filming it, I will just voice over the process, but this time I did things a little bit differently and I kind of took you guys through my thought process as I was doing it. So I'd love to hear in the comments if you like that style of decluttering motivation or if you prefer my traditional voiceover style of decluttering. I try not to be too repetitive. I always want to keep things entertaining and new for you guys. So I just wanted to try something different. And again, I would love some feedback on what you think about that in the comments. I hang up absolutely everything that I possibly can. So the things that I wear on a daily basis, I pretty much hang all of that up and then whatever's in my dresser is stuff that I don't usually wear on a daily basis or it's like my leggings or my jeans and stuff that I cannot fit in this closet. But actually I used to have a really big walk-in closet in our old house and I totally underutilized that. At the time I used to just fold all my clothes and I don't know why when I had that closet I could have just hung everything up. Okay, so like I said, there's definitely some things in here that I don't wear i don't reach for so i'm just gonna take those things out and get rid of them so first of all we have this red shirt i don't know what i was thinking when i bought this because i really hate this color and i just wouldn't wear it so we'll get rid of that i do like this green shirt this one i feel like has just kind of seen better days like it's started to get really wrinkly um you can see like the neck is kind of like hanging down a little bit it's just not the best quality this was just like a cheap um target shirt a while ago so i'm gonna get rid of this one you're joining me yeah hello are you okay oh, you. you can't go through that okay I, can you sit on the bed for me I'm gonna kiss down. don't knock it down you'll I be in big trouble to. you'll be I in big trouble do. no we don't knock it down I do. no we don't I do. the shirt i also think is really unflattering so i'm gonna get rid of this one and this one too I don't really like this one very much, so I'm gonna get rid of this as well. I have had this shirt, I don't even know how long, probably 10, 11 years, and I just think I'm over it, so I'm gonna get rid of this too. Mommy! This yes, honey? Oh, no, come through it! You cannot. I can. You cannot. I can! love this green shirt, but it's been hidden by all the other ones, so no, I don't no, want no. it. Yes, I do. You do not. So I haven't worn that in a while. This is another shirt that I've had probably like 10 years. I really don't like wearing tank tops anymore. As I get older, I don't know, I just feel kind of uncomfortable in them. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, the next drawer I wanna go through is where I keep all like my comfy stuff. I got these shorts when I had a procedure done back in like March, just for something, or maybe April, when in April when I got something done, and I actually hate them. They're very, very thick, and I feel like the waistband is just so tight around my waist that they're just incredibly uncomfortable and I never put them on, so I'm gonna donate these. This shirt, shout out to all my emetophobia girls, if there's anyone on here watching who also has that. Phobia. I was wearing this the last time my family had like a sick event. It was like this kiss t-shirt And I'll never put it on again because I'm so afraid if I wear this shirt, we're all gonna get sick again All right, I had to change my battery real quick, but we're back to it I think I'm gonna donate this one. I've had this a really long time and I'm just I just never reach for it I think I'll donate this one And I'm gonna donate this old old navy shirt from 2023 Okay, so this drawer, 
I'm still going to keep a couple pairs of shorts out because it is still kind of warm sometimes. But I'm going to put away the ones that I don't really like. These shorts I bought at Target and I really thought I was going to love them. But I ended up hating them. So I'm just going to donate these. I have skirts here. I wish I had somewhere better that I could store these. But I just keep them in this drawer. This is my camera that I invested in pretty recently for photography. And I absolutely love it. But I have nowhere good to store it. So... It just kind of sits on the floor in my room, which is unfortunate. But this drawer right here, I want to go through. This is like all of my sweatpants and then like athletic clothing. All right, I think I might be over this color purple, but I'm undecided, so I'm going to keep it for now. Okay, so I was gonna put these shorts away, but I think I've decided that I don't like any of these pairs. I think they're really unflattering. So since it's the end of the season, I'm just gonna donate these and next year I will deal with finding some new pairs of shorts. But I'm gonna consolidate everything I'm getting rid of into this laundry basket so I can bring it to the donation center. Some of this is like brand new. Like I've literally never worn this shirt or this shirt or this shirt. So I just came to the realization that I have a bunch of stuff up here that I have not worn in a while and I kind of forgot was here. So I'm going to decide if I want to keep them or donate them. Most of these jeans are skinny jeans, which now is out of style, which I'm sure you guys know. But anyway, I'm hoping that someday they come back in style. So I'm not going to declutter those at this time because a lot of them were really pricey and good nice jeans so i'm gonna hold on to them and hope that someday they come back in style before i donate them i am gonna get rid of this it doesn't work anymore and i don't know why i've had it like sitting in my bathroom when it doesn't work i go back and forth on whether or not i like to clean my bathroom on camera I feel like this is something, you know, everybody has to do it and it's not the most fun and I feel like other people probably need motivation to get this task done just like I do because I dread it so much. But I don't know, I just feel like it's weird to film myself cleaning my bathroom. I would love to know what you guys think in the comments. Do you like seeing me clean my bathroom or should we just stick to other areas in the house? I have been cleaning all day but my house looks like this <laughs> so <laughs> want to make sure I keep it real here on my channel it has been many hours since I washed this and it looks so much better it's not fully dry yet but huge improvement I'll try to insert the before so you can see it and then also obviously I'm showing you the after so I'm glad this worked because that was really bothering me and this is the other spot that I did. So looks great. Very happy with it. The couch looks so much better. It is the next day. I am wearing the same sweatshirt as yesterday, so don't judge me. But I did not get like a proper outro clip yesterday, so I wanted to make sure I came on here and ended the video. I just want to say for all of my toddler moms out there watching, I feel your pain. It is so hard to get things done with little kids around. Typically, I film when... My kids are being watched by somebody else so that I have like the ability to focus and just get everything done. So if you're ever watching a video like a motivational cleaning video and you don't see that creator's kids around, that is why they're so productive because it's just, it's hard. It's hard to get things done with little kids, especially toddlers I find. At least when they're babies, you can like maybe put them in the wrap or you can put them in the swing and they're content for a little bit, but toddlers? They have a mind of their own and Sutton wants my undivided attention these days. But I do feel like I had a productive day 
even given the circumstances. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it gave you some motivation to get some cleaning, some decluttering done in your home. Don't forget to check out the Eureka Rapid Wash. I will have that link in my description box down below. And right now from October 8th through 9th, you can get it for $50 off of the regular price, which is really good savings. I have tried quite a few wet dry vacuums in my day and this one is hands down my favorite and again i think the game changer for me is the fact that there are no smelly odors that come from this machine and any other one i've ever tried i've been very open about this they always tend to smell after like a period of time no matter how hard i try to keep up with them or clean them or whatever they just get really stinky so the fact that i've been using my rapid wash for as long as i have and i have yet to experience any sort of yucky odor coming from the machine is huge so anyway again fifty dollars off thank you to eureka for sponsoring today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it and it gave you some motivation and turn your notification bells on so you don't miss any of my future uploads thank you so much for watching and i hope you'll come back again next week for another video